Today we're going to be talking about the Ojibwe tribe. The Ojibwe tribe lived in the northeast part of North America. The modern day states would include North Dakota, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Montana. And in Canada, this would include Montebo, Quebec, and Ontario. Many traditions were passed down orally through generations of the Ouijibi tribe. The people in the tribe called themselves the Anishinaabe people. Anishinaabe means true people. The people in the tribes didn't make any contact with Europeans until 1615 when a French explorer by the name of Samuel D. Champollion arrived in the Lake Haramano, which is in the Great Lakes, and also happened to be where a lot of the tribes lived. The people didn't make contact with Europeans until 52 years later when the Europeans came to the Great Lakes and they made a Christian missionary there. And that pushed the people more west. The United States government made two treaties with the people. The first treaty was in 1842 when the tribe sold a good amount of their land to Wisconsin. After a while, the government wanted to push the people out of Wisconsin completely. And obviously, they didn't want to leave. And understandably so. After years of debating, the tribe decided to sell the rest of their land to the United States in exchange for reservations on the land. Now you'd think since the people had nice reservations, they'd be able to make a living and be sustainable. But no, since the farming soil up there was not very good. They didn't have enough money and couldn't sell their crops and stuff. So they had to work at lumberjack places that were owned by white men. They lived like this for a very long time. Now fast forward to 1983 when the tribe finally got their land back. It took many, many years to get their land back, but Finally, they had their land so they can fish and hunt. But unfortunately, a lot of people did not agree with this decision. And there was a lot of harmful boat accidents in the harbor. After a while, the assaults slowed down. I'm not saying they're completely gone, but they significantly decreased. And now they live pretty much in peace and harmony in North Dakota, Minnesota, and still parts of Canada. Thanks for watching my presentation on the Ouija B tribe.